Jack, there was a lot of talk about this Cal game being London's homecoming game. Coach Bennett says your family will be there. How long a flight is it from New Zealand to San Francisco? It's about a 13-hour flight. So I've got like eight, eight family members that are going to be out there, so I'm pretty excited. Jack, coming into this one, did you know there was going to be um, obviously a size advantage for you? Did you know there was going to be a chance for you to score the way you did? Uh, I know that's not always your role. Yeah, the coaches told us they were undersized, so just look for the opportunities that are there, and got a few good ones. Exciting when you know that that's what you're going. Yeah, I look forward to going against a short guy. (laughs) (laughs) Devin, uh, Coach Bennett talked about how one thing he's working on with with you is is finishing Mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. Uh, At one point, that's the 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 run to end the first half. You followed up on a dunk to kind of got things going there toward the end of the first period. What, uh, how have you kind of worked to improve that? What do you think of your, your game today, best game you've had this year? Um, just we work on it every single day. So just being able to use my length and use my size and strength and try to finish better around the rim because I get around there a lot. So I think it's you know key for me to be able to finish in those tough situations or, or in traffic. But um, I think that uh, working each and every day is helping me. So, Devin, you got off to a real start this season offensively how much more comfortable are you feeling in that role obviously on a team where whoever's scoring is you know kind of the go-to guy that day um I think I'm extremely comfortable you know the way we the way we have things and we're so we're so deep on the bench and guys it could be like you said anybody any day so just being able to be ready and be being aggressive at each time and you know knocking down shots where you're open and getting in the lane is big uh, Devin, what have you seen in Ty, and how do you think he can help you guys once you get into the meat of your schedule? Um, extremely poised. I, I know you guys can see that. He's a lot like London when it comes to being extremely poised, and his vision is great. I think he had six assists today, and uh, I don't even know how many minutes he played, but he, he, his, his vision is great, and he's extremely poised, and he's, he's a lot like London when it comes to that. Devin, this will be the team's only the second true road game and the first one since opening night. Do you haven't been through this before. What what's the key, particularly with the younger guys, for doing well on the road? Um, just you know, come out and you know do exactly what we do each and every day in practice, and eat, try to implement what we do in practice into the games, knowing that we're going to maybe a hostile environment and we haven't been on the road in a long time. Just being able to go out and uh, try to you know put our, put our foot on the gas from jump. Hey Jack, could you talk about your development offensively and? how much attention you're giving to your offense these days? I mean, we work on our finishing every day, uh, post moves, and just putting the work in practice with the coaches, it just helps a lot in the games. So just keep keep working at it and it's on the show a little bit, which is good. Jack, you started games last year, but it was usually you know, a few short minutes, and then you would kind of rotate out after that. This year, how do you feel like just getting that little taste last year in a starting role is helping you kind of fill that same spot now, but for longer stretches of time. It just gave me confidence. Uh, last year I was pretty pretty nervous coming in, new to it, but this year kind of a bit more relaxed and um, more reps practice has just helped me, helped me out in games. Hey, Devin, how comfortable, when you guys go to that four guard lineup, how comfortable are you guys with that now? Uh, I think we're getting a lot better with it. You know, some of the stuff we worked on in practice, depending on, um, you know, if we can uh, utilize mismatches and, and take advantage of them. Uh, I think that, you know, it's, we, it's something that we might go to a little bit more often, and I think we're get, getting a lot better with it. Jack, one more about the, the family coming. Uh, did you have any plans? Is there any free time in there for you to, to spend with them? I imagine it's been a little while. When was the last time? You saw most of those people, and, and what's your schedule like when you get out there? Uh, yeah, I haven't seen them for a while. Um, I'll stay with them in Cali for a few days, which will be nice. Yeah, I haven't seen them for maybe eight months, so I'm really looking forward to seeing my family. Stay after the game? Yes, sir. All right, Hank. Jack, <clears throat> it seems like um, offensively, some of the passes they're throwing to you now you're looking for when maybe last year they might have hit you in the head because you weren't looking for them. How much more comfortable are you looking for the ball in those spots and knowing it could be coming from, you know, behind someone's back or whipped around their head or something like that? It seems like you get a lot more passes like that. Yeah, I mean, just being more confident, a bit more relaxed, not always uh, not ready for things. So it's just help getting more reps, more time in the games. Um, So, yeah, just a lot more relaxed and kind of ready for more passes now. 